Hello, my viewer. Once again, I have come to at least show you another aspect of fish farming that will be beneficial to you, even, even though you are a beginner or you are already a fish farmer. Perhaps you may not have come across this very knowledge for the first time. So that is why this very uh, video recording will be useful to you, if not now, but in time to come. This is just a newly built pond. Like if you have watched the previous video, when I showed you how to treat the, the concrete pond and how to fertilize it. This is exactly the forms I showed you in the last video. Now we are through with the treating. If you can look closely to, to the pond, into the pond, you will see that we are evacuating the water and gradually the water is going down bit by bit. This is to say by tomorrow or next, this very pond will be in use. So what I have come to do now is to follow up the last video. The last video was all about how to treat the, and neutralize the acidity of the pond using dry plantain leaves. But now, having done that, this is almost about uh, about 14-15 uh, days now. Uh, you can still allow it for up to 21 days, but because of the exigency, I am going to start using this very pond from tomorrow okay now after this water has been completely evacuated to the channel the channel is down down the extreme so this water the, the pond has underground pipe where this water is going into and through that underground pipe it will be channeled to the west uh, pit down the extreme so now what i'm going to do is after this thing has been evacuated completely, we will fill a fresh water into this very pond to get it to the level we will be using for the farming. So when we have filled this water into the, the pond, the next thing is to test the acidity, uh, the pH level, sorry, of the pond. So what I want to do exactly now is to test the pH level as the water is going out so that I, we, I can ascertain the pH level that is in the pond before the use. Then after this, when the new water is poured into the pond, I'll still test the pH level to know the level at that point. And I, from, from that subsequently, I'll be testing the pH level. So now let me draw. What I have with me here is a digital pH tester. It is unlike the other one, you will get the water you get water from your pond, mix it with the pH tester chemicals, and then it will not read through the color. It will show to you. But this one is just, it will read like uh, the electronic watch. So what I'm going to do now is to get the water from the pond. As you can see, I have just fetched water directly from the pond. Then I have opened the pH tester. So what I'll do now is to switch it on. This pH tester, you can off it and on it. This is the simplest one to use, especially if you're a beginner. You don't need to worry yourself identifying the pH level through coloring. All you need to do is that you, when you dip this thing into the water, you look at what it will read. Whatever it will read will determine the pH level. So let me just show you. Okay, now I have turned it on. I have turned the pH tester on. What I'm going to do now is to dip it into this very water. You see, bring the camera closer. You see, it is reading. When it gets to a standstill, like now it has come to a standstill, what we have is 8.7. 8.7. That is exactly what we have. Good. So what this thing is showing now is that the pH level of this very pond is alkaline. And the alkaline is not also good for fish farming. If you introduce your fish into this pond right now, the fish will have very serious problem. So this water will be removed completely 
because the pond does not require alkaline water. So when the fresh water will be put in, we will still test. Of course, let me use this opportunity to make some few explanations. And the first explanation I want to make is that when the pH uh, reads from 4.0 to 6.00, that's 6.00, you know that even up to 6.5, <clears throat> you know that the water level is acidic. The pond water is acidic. But when it reads from 7, when it is 7.00, you know that the water level is normal. That is the normal pH level. If it reads from 7.6 up, it has entered alkaline. From 7.6 to 12.00, it is alkaline water. So what your water, what your pond needs uh, for your fish to be uh, healthy, is water level from 7.00 up to 7.6 but you can still manage 6.5 to 7 but that is not really advisable but if you can manage to get up to 7.00 to 7.6 you know you have the normal ph level that your fish require to do very very well this is how much i will show you at this very moment Remember, I said after evacuating this water, the dry plantain leaves, all these dry plantain leaves you see, will be removed completely. And whatever waste that will be in this pond will be, everything will be evacuated completely. Except the microorganisms, you know, as this water is going down now, the microorganisms will relax in, uh, on the walls. It will relax on the walls, so, but by the time you feed fresh water, you see it's coming up. Again. Apart from that, which cannot be seen, Every other waste you see at the dry plantain leaves, it will not be needed after today. So it will all be thrown away to where it is supposed to be. So that is what I will be showing you just at this very moment. Next time we'll come, we will now look at the put the fresh by that time the fresh water would have been put in. Then we will now look at the pH level of that water. If it is acidic, we will also consider what you will do. In case your pond has uh, the water in your pond is acidic, what you will do to get that water level to a normal acid. So we're going to look at that. So it's a very simple thing, but if you don't know it, you don't know it. So that's why I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when this information come up, you'll be the first to get it. And also at the same time, I will encourage you to always follow us, like us, share this a video to people, your loved ones, your friends, your well wishers, your relations who are into fish farming, who are into other aspects of farming. If you look at this big farm yard, you see the piggery stands there. You, this is the fish pond. We have the grass cutter pen just behind us. We have the snellery also behind us. So with all of these, uh, I want to tell you from time to time, I will come across your way to give you enlightenment of this nature. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching. Drop your message if you wish. You can also contact us if you want to have something like this in your farm or you want to start a farm. You need professionals who will do the need for, for you, instructing you, building it for you and the rest of that. You are free to get across to us. God bless you until I meet you again. Thank you.